Okay, so recently I made a video um, and a new email address and a new Twitter um, just to sort of help you guys out. Um, I said if you've got any questions to ask about A-levels or GCSE or just apply to medicine, you could email me or you could at me on Twitter and um, I'll make a video so it not only helps like you out, it helps everyone else out as well. Um, so. I checked my email this morning and there's actually quite a few emails I've got uh, so I need to get started on the videos I thought. Um, the first email is actually, actually I won't say the name because just keep it private. Uh, I won't mention the name um, in case people don't want me to. But the first one says, hi Rahan, firstly happy 20th, um, the thing I wanted to ask about my chemistry A level. Um, I have a tutor, textbook, and a revision guide. I was hoping you could maybe give me some advice about past paper questions, or if possible, I know I'm pushing it, tutor me. Um, sorry if I sound a bit rude, I'm just in a dilemma. Thanks again. Okay, past paper questions. Right, in chemistry, I spent about 60% of my time doing past paper questions and 40% of my time sort of revising the topics um, or just understanding things. With chemistry obviously past paper questions are the biggest thing um, and that's how you get your A or your A star and the way I went about past paper questions was you have to do, okay so you get all the past papers, you print all of them off from like 2007 up until 2015 or whatever you can get hold of and then you start off from 2007, you do the past paper, You after you finished it, you check the marks, uh, what you got, um, and basically the ones that you got wrong, circle them, or make sure you know you highlight them, because once you finish marking the paper, you need to get a, a separate piece of A4 paper, and write out the question that you got wrong in red, and then the answer, that the mark scheme answer, um, in blue or black, and you need to make you know, you're gonna sort of develop a couple of pages um, of you know A4 paper where you've got a list of questions that you got wrong and a list of answers that are from the mark scheme. So that you know, a week before the exam, you can just read through these pieces of paper, and that'll help you a lot more. Um, a week before my exam, I never done any revision for chemistry. I, all I did was just read through these questions that I got wrong, um, just because it. If I got it wrong once, then I'm probably going to get it wrong again. So that's that's what I was thinking. So um, you know, it's best to learn or memorize these uh, mark scheme answers. About the tutoring, um, I currently do Skype tutoring um, for like people who are long distance. So if you if you want, you know, just uh, email me in the email in the description or at me on Twitter, and we can sort that out. But let me tell you what I sort of did in my A-levels or how many hours roughly I did. Okay, second question. Hello, how much hours of revision did you do per subject in a week for your A-levels? This is the most common question. Like, I always get asked this question. I can't like quantify or, you know, put one number to it. So I can't tell you like, okay, every day revise for five hours, no more, no less. Like, it's not possible. Um, even now, like now that I'm doing medicine, it can change. So, you know, in April I might be doing two hours, in, in May I might be doing five hours. Do you know what I mean? So, okay, so I'd go to school at nine o'clock. I'd have lessons most, like most of the day, about two hours free on average in the day, free periods. One hour I would probably spend just chilling. Another hour I'd probably spend uh, revising. Um, I probably focus on economics because I needed to get that from a D to an A star. Um, okay, so that's one hour there in school. Now I get home about three or four o'clock, eat, get changed, get ready, go to the library about half five. Um, so I'm at the library at half five, start my revision at six, and then I finish at about 11. So that's five hours, and then the hour that I spent in school. So about six hours, six hours a day, I would probably spend when I was doing my A-levels, uh, revising to get my to get my grades, but that but you gotta bear in mind I had to pull my grades up from like two Bs, a C, and a D to you know A star, A, A or whatever I needed. Um, 
So that's the that's the only reason I spent like six hours or f like seven out or five or six hours in a did uh, revising for my A levels. For my GCSE, it was probably a lot less. Um, I remember I would probably spend like two or three hours a day. Um, that was like proper revision. So the rest of the time, I was telling myself I was revising, but I was probably on like Instagram or Twitter, and then I deleted that. But I still don't know where. Oh yeah, I was watching Fresh Prince of Bel Air. That's where most of my time went. So A level, I'd probably say five, five or six hours. Um, if if you've got your three years at AS, if you don't need to pull your grades up, then you know you can get away with about three or four hours a day solid revision. And for GCSE, you know, three hours a day, four hours a day is, is perfectly fine. Hi, when do you think you can put up your AS and A2 economics notes? Thank you. P.S. Happy very late belated birthday wishes. Right. Um, the thing is, I can't. I can't find my economics notes or any of my notes. It's probably in one of my drawers uh, on the side there, but it's really dusty in there. And I've got hair fever, and uh, and there's spiders in there as well. And I can't be asked going in there. Um, last time I went in, there was a huge spider. So, uh, like I'd, I don't want to risk my life for for a few economics notes. Do you know what I mean? Um, but. If you haven't watched it already, I've made a video of um, my economics note, like the ones that I had, I did find. Um, I've already made a note, so you can see how I structured my economics note. But there's no point. I think this person's trying to ask, yeah, like there's no point downloading my AS and A2 notes and using my notes to revise because it won't help. Like it's best you do your, your notes because the process of making the notes is the was the biggest learning uh, point for me. So actually making the notes is when I learn the topic the most sort of thing. If you understand what I mean, um, so it's best to make your own notes. I'd say. Uh, but that's but I think that's 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 the first video. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you've got any questions. Like I said, um, either at me on Twitter or you can email me um, and I'll put them both in the description. Um, but that's all for now. Um, see you in the next video.